everybody, it's Kairos. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I am setting a goal for this channel to hit 100 subscribers by the end of May. So I'd love if you'd uh, join along. Let me know if this is content that's really uh, helpful or useful for you. So right now we're going to do a uh, video on Warwick kind of clearing objectives and efficiency around objectives with some tricks tricks so we're going to look at the rift herald scuttle and then dragon some unique interactions so um, here's what i found is the best way to clear the uh, rift herald so you can do it really healthily i'm sitting on just base items so i have my tm at um I have my hunter's machete and my boots so nothing advanced level six this is about when you might be taking it here's how you can solo it really healthily without using a lot of time so you're going to do an auto attack tm at two auto attacks and then queue through to the back side so i'll demonstrate that real quick So notice that when I queued to the backside, it actually pops the eye of the heralds like with that first auto attack. So I'll redo that again um, real quick here. It's auto attack, Tiamat, then two uh, two more auto attacks, and then queue to the backside. So, and there you go. And um, the main thing with herald is that it does um, a lot of damage on its sweeping auto attacks, uh, which happen at. 66% of the health, that was the first one, and 33% of the health. So watch out for those, and use your um, Q to either dodge those big auto attacks or Q through to the backside, um, because then you can get back there and take it really quickly. I'm still at two thirds health, and that didn't really take me long at all. Um, I'll demonstrate that one more time. Um, so just be focused on using your Q to get to the backside to either avoid the auto attacks at 66% um, or 33% or to hit the hit the backside of the eye. Um, and also the um, eye does 12% of her max health. And so you can actually execute um, from about 850 health if it's at this. And so her health skill is based on level. So if you're level six on average across the board, it'll be 7125 is her health. You'll execute at, um, the eye will execute her at 850. So here we go again. Okay, and then you're just watching for the eye to open up, and then you use the Q to go back, and then you walk around, dodge that, save your Q for the next eye to open up. And there you go. Then dodge that attack. And you're using the uh, Tiamat in between these. And then I'm going to go around at 800, and it should execute. Oh, she turned. And there you go. Uh, so that is how you take um, the Rift Herald as, as quickly as possible. All right, next we are going to be looking at um, Scuttle Crab interactions and how to take Scuttle Crab. Um, so one thing that's interesting about Scuttle Crabs is they have a lot of interactions with crowd control. So crowd control does three things to Scuttle Crab. First, it <laughs> reduces their resistances uh, from 60 down to 10. So it makes it very squishy. Also, crowd control effects last twice as long um, on Scuttle Crab than they do on Champions. And then finally, uh, while Scuttle is CC'd, it takes an extra 25% extra damage from all sources while it's CC'd. Uh, and so using crowd control on the Scuttle can make it very squishy, take it really, really quickly. Uh, and so first we'll just look at how much Smite does um, with and without CC. So right now it says 540, so that takes it down to uh, 10, 1060 is its health right now without the crowd control. Um, so we'll try that again um, when we do crowd control it, and it's going to be quite a bit more. There you go. Um, so that's an extra, quite a bit of damage um, that you get it almost down to half health if you're using crowd control. Um, so we'll take it um, two ways. So first I'll use just my Q, auto attacks, and Tiamat, and then we'll use crowd control and see how much quicker it is. Um, so we started at 48.10, no crowd control, and we aren't using smite either. Uh, so that was eight seconds. Uh, we'll see if we can spawn another one real quick. Okay, so now we'll use uh, crowd control, our Q, and our TMA. All right, uh, starting at, uh, I'll look at it later. All right, there you go. I think that's like six seconds, but it's quite a bit, quite a bit quicker. And if you use Smite, you can literally just one shot it. Um, we'll just one shot it real quick with our crowd control, and there you go. 
And if you have a smite charge up, you can clear it immediately. Uh, so you should not do this if uh, you might need your E like in the near future. So if their jungler could be in this area or you don't know where their jungler is, save your E because it's really important if you're going to be getting in a fight. But if you know where the jungler is, they're on the opposite side of the map, then you can go ahead and use your E and, and commit it to taking the scuttle quickly. And finally, this is the most basic um, basic tip. Uh, pretty much you Q through the Drake to keep it from knocking you back. So if you just do it normally, then it knocks you back and you have to walk back up and keep doing it. Um, but we'll just let that reset and we'll see that um, you can use your Q to dodge that and just to be more, more efficient to keep damaging it and not be knocked back here. Uh, so let it land again. Okay, all right. So auto, Tiamat, and then Q through, and you get to the back of the pit, and you just aren't knock, knocked back. So a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, not a huge time saver, but it adds up, uh, and it can all um, make a big, big impact later in the game. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, you can use some of these uh, right away and can be a little bit more efficient in how you play around objectives. Wait, Ryan!